If you guys are looking for a new game to pass the time before GTA 6 gets here, check out G2A with the link in the description and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto 6's story seemingly being shorter than that of Red Dead Redemption 2, what to expect from trailer number 2, and the latest update on the map. We'll be diving into all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So let's start with the length of the story. Rockstar is known for giving us hours of content, especially with Red Dead Redemption 2, their last title, which probably was closer to around like a 60 to 80 to 90 hour story, depending on how much you did and how long you took for each mission and the level of depth you went in into the exploration. And I'm just talking about the main story content here. It's really hard to measure things like side quests and whatnot because that really can take a long time. Well, according to Legacy Killa HD, who apparently has some very reliable sources, he's been correct on several Rockstar things in the past. This is what he had to say. It's not as long from what I heard, probably 35 to 40 hours. And when someone asked about a source, he said, the only thing I'll add is that I heard this last year. And a little bit more follow-up going on to say, regardless, I have no idea on the exact length as things are still changing and I heard this last year. I just know that this isn't going to be an 80 to 90 hour main story as some seem to think. Your prediction of tons of side stuff probably is spot on though. So to me, I just find this news a little bit unfortunate because I truly do believe that Red Dead Redemption 2 is the best single player game and story that not only Rockstar has ever made, honestly probably of all time. And I would pay for more of that game right now. I thought the storytelling was amazing. I thought the quest were so cool. I want more of it. And so with Grand Theft Auto 6, knowing that I think Rockstar is just getting better and better and better at storytelling and giving us the content that's really enjoyable, I don't want to see any of that shortened. And that just might be a Grand Theft Auto thing. I feel like maybe Grand Theft Auto stories happen to be a little bit shorter, but I don't want people to panic. Even though it might be a shorter story than Red Dead Redemption 2, a, I don't think it's going to be filled with any less content, and B, in fact, I think it is going to be packed with a ton of Stranger and Freaks, a ton of side quests, so much stuff for us to do in this newly explored world of Vice City and Leonida set in modern times. I don't think we have anything to worry about here, and even though the story of Jason and Lucia, their Bonnie and Clyde-esque adventure might be shorter than what we saw with Arthur Morgan and the Vanderlyn Gang in Red Dead Redemption 2, I don't think it is going to disappoint in the slightest. Now, speaking of that and coming from the same source, we have an update on the voice actor and likeness of Lucia. You guys remember we talked about that the other day. That is Manny L. Perez. Well, this was seemingly also confirmed by Legacy Killa by saying, tweet isn't mysterious. This is her. She's Lucia. I'm just glad the community finally found her. So he is indeed confirming that Manny El Perez is Lucia. And we also have some other interesting snippets of her essentially hinting at this as well. In another interview, she basically directly states that she's doing video game stuff. Take a listen to this right here. Right now, I've been transitioning my career into voiceover and motion capture. And what's also interesting is Manny L. Perez had a role in a TV show called East New York as a character named Lucia Santiago. How interesting is that? She played a character named Lucia and is gonna be playing one in Grand Theft Auto 6. But anyways, let's move on to the latest version of the Grand Theft Auto 6 map. This is the Vice City Mapping Project version 0 .033. There's some new updates here that I wanna dive into and talk about. The first is that the Rock Ridge area has been overhauled and some of the roads and buildings have been updated. So Rock Ridge is an area that's gonna be north of Vice City International Airport and it's going to be to the east of all the islands and Vice Beach. So it's kind of going to be a town just outside of the main city strip. It looks extremely busy. It looks like it's going to have a stadium, lots of different roads, access to the highways and whatnot. So it's definitely going to be a very populated area that received a little bit of an update. And speaking of updates, the Vice City Metro Mule Line also received an update. This wasn't something we saw in the trailer, 
but it was something we saw in the leaks. That's going to be one of the transportation methods around Vice City. In the very opening shot of the trailer, we saw what looks like a jail or a penitentiary. This is located in Hamlet. That received a slight update, and it is actually reflective of the shape of the jail. How wild is that, that the talented guys creating this map are able to even get the shape of the penitentiary down. Again, it's located right next to that sewage treatment plant, and also right next to that highway, which of course is what we saw in the very first shot with the cars driving by. So that received a nice little update. And then more buildings were added to the Washington Beach area, which is definitely one of the most populated and crowded areas in Vice City. There's going to be a ton going on here in terms of hotels, buildings, condos, places to live, interiors to interact with. It's definitely going to be one of the first places I check out. And then other than that, they added a bunch of speculative locations to the map, and they also fixed some scaling issues around the prison, motel, etc. So that is the latest update so far. Again, you can check out the Vice City Mapping Project in the description. Those guys are super talented and do an amazing job of recreating what we know so far of the GTA 6 map. Now, last but not least in this video today, what I want to talk about is what to expect for trailer number two. So we don't know when trailer number two is going to be coming out. We can only speculate that it's going to be 2024. And what can we expect from that based on what Rockstar did with GTA 5 and what they did with Red Dead Redemption 2? Well, for starters, we're probably going to get more audio and dialogue from our two main characters, Jason and Lucia. Jason has said one word, trust. Lucia has said about 14 words. She talked about bad luck and she talked about how Jason has to trust her. Because in GTA 5 second trailer, we heard from Michael, we heard from Amanda, we heard from Tracy, Jimmy, Franklin, Lamar, Trevor. We heard from a handful of major characters in that story all in the second trailer. So not only do I feel like we're going to learn more about our main characters, I feel like we're also going to learn more about some of the side characters that will be featured. And same thing happened in Red Dead Redemption 2, where we got to hear from Dutch and Charles, and we got to hear from Sadie Adler, not just Arthur Morgan, the main character. I also feel like we're going to see more aspects to the story. I also feel like we're going to get more details on the story. A lot of the things shown in the second trailer really focus on the missions and some of the early on on things like what we see in Red Dead Redemption 2, what we saw in GTA 5. So we should get more of an idea of what Jason and Lucia are up to more than just sort of the speculative stuff that we have right now, like that at one point in time, she's in jail. I think it's also fair to say that it's probably going to be in between 90 seconds to two minutes. Red Dead Redemption 2's second trailer was a minute and 30 seconds, whereas Grand Theft Auto 5's second trailer was a minute and 50 seconds. And given the fact that GTA 6's first trailer was already 90 seconds long, I think we can expect it to be a little bit longer than that. And what I would also expect Rockstar to do is at the very end provide us, number one, the ability to pre-order the game. It also is very likely that we will see what the game is rated. That will obviously be M for Mature. And then probably a more narrowed down date on when the game is going to be coming out. It might be spring 2025. It might be summer. It might be fall. I expect them to give us a rough date on when the game will be coming out. I don't think they're going to give us like, you know, November 4th, 2025, but I do feel like it will get narrowed down. So that's what to expect in trailer two. And that's sort of your near weekend wrap up of what's going on in the world of GTA six. Let me know what you think about everything we discussed in this video today. I would absolutely love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.